Welcome back to The Build Show. I'm Jake Bruton with Aero Building and today we're gonna blow our door test a house that doesn't have any windows or doors. In 2012, the IRC adopted a new code and one of the things that happened that was completely new in that code was an air leakage standard. Uh, meaning that all new homes have to be tested for air leakage and that's what we're doing behind us with the blower door. The, the idea behind the code was if your house doesn't leak air, either exfiltration or infiltration, uh, then you don't have to pay to condition new air. You don't have to pay to filter new air. Uh, comfort, health, and energy efficiency go up because we have better control over our envelope. The code is written for air exchanges per hour at 50 pascals of pressure. That means if we pressurize the house artificially to 50 pascals of pressure with our blower door, no more than three times per hour, that's three ACH 50, can all of the air inside of our house be exchanged with new air from outside the home. Uh, it's an artificial testing pressure. I'm actually told, and this may be apocryphal, the first people to do the blower door wanted to uh, test at 100 pascals of pressure because 100 is a nice round number and they couldn't find a fan big enough so they just went to 50 pascals of pressure. Uh, we don't know if that's, I don't know if that's apocryphal enough, but that is a good explanation of 50 pascals of pressure is kind of arbitrary. It's just a set standard so that everybody tests to the same standard. Um, and so using this blower door, we're able to pressurize the building or depressurize the building depending on some of the parameters of our test, run it up to that pressure point, and then there's a manometer attached to the blower door. It measures the flow through the door and it decides how much air leakage we're getting per hour. This particular unit does all the math for us. The only thing that we have to input is our desired test pressure, which is the 50 pascals of pressure the cubic volume of the home because it's measuring flow rate. It needs flow rate and then the volume of the home and then duration and then that calculates its ACH 50. So we're testing not at the end of the process like code requires. We're actually testing three times during our build process and this is the first test during our build process. So you can see that there are no windows in the picture that you see here. There is no interior walls. All you really get a chance to see is framing an air barrier from where you are. Our air barrier on our ceiling is drywall. Our air barrier on our wall is zip sheathing. There are some sealants between things. There are some spray foams in certain areas to catch difficult to seal objects. There's a tape detail around the sill of the the exterior from our sheathing down to our concrete. But we've kept it as simple as we possibly can and we try to limit our, our chance for failure basically by keeping things simple. So here, we just ran our first blower door test. Those results were under passive house. So that air leakage standard for code is three ACH 50, no more than three times per hour. Uh, the next setting, if you go down, would be the DOE's Energy Star program. If you've ever seen like the yellow stickers that go on the front of your appliances when you buy them, those are Energy Star ratings. You can get a whole home that's Energy Star rated. If you're going to do that, it's 2.6 air exchanges per hour. And then the most stringent testing standard in the world that I'm aware of is Passive House. And that's 0.6 air exchanges per hour. So six tenths of a time per hour can all of this exchange with outside instead of three times per hour uh, which is this, the code and we tested at five point or 0 0.55 ACH 50. Now we don't have windows, we don't have our dryer connection out, we actually have our bath fans with their dampers installed already and we tested with them taped off and with them open so we can get a sense as to what those are leaking. But testing at this point gives us the opportunity to keep from screwing something up and then covering it up. We have access to everything. We can see our drywall air barrier, we can see our wire penetrations, we can see our bath fan penetrations, and we can see our zip sheathing on the outside. We don't have siding or interior finishes covering anything up or keeping it so that we will have to remove something to then move backwards and repair something. This allows us to test our methods at each point. It also allows us to make small changes each time we build and see if we can't find a more cost effective or uh, 
better way of doing things that ensure better air tightness. Uh, our next test in this home's assembly will be with all of our fenestration, our doors, our exterior windows in place. So we actually won't go any further than that before we test again and we'll get our results again. And that gives us the ability to test our windows, test their function and test our installation methods. Uh, with windows, if it's a double hung window, we're gonna want to depressurize the house so that it pulls the, the double hung unit away from its seal because that's realistic, the wind blows on it. Uh, if it's a casement window and you depressurize sucking those windows in, the number should actually get better because it's compressing its seal. So we'll pressurize. Now, there's a give and take. If it's an outswing door, that's the same as a casement. If it's a regular in-swing exterior door, pressing up against that, that uh, weather stripping will actually make your number better. So there's a lot of testing ability that we have there because we own our own blower door. Uh, the other good tip for when we're gonna do a blower door like today, nobody else is on site. We shut the site down for the day. Yes, it costs us a production day, but there is no reason to have three carpenters and a plumber standing around outside going, man, I wish they'd get done with that stupid blower door test so that I can keep working. Uh, it's just shut it down, ask them to leave, nobody show up, send them someplace else for the day. So that's the first two blower door tests. The third one is not conducted by us. We have to have it third party verified. So we work with a company here in town to give us a HERS score and our energy audit stuff for the city uh, that we have to prove that we're below three ACH 50. Now, I will tell you that the first time that we uh, did one of our houses in the city, the uh, consultants came, they tested the house and uh, he said, wow, I've never seen one that low. He left and then 30 minutes later they came back with his boss and his boss said, no, he screwed up the test. We're back to get it right. There's no way it was that low. And I had already verified before the consultant came. So we knew that he had done the correct job. So it's nice for us because we can even use it to test what the consultants are getting. Keep in mind that when we get below passive house standard, that 0.6 ACH 50, uh, everything that happens is kind of noise. I don't think you can make an argument that 0.45 or 0.55 are any different. It has to do with the pressure difference from outside to inside, temperature difference outside to inside, and then how well you're installing the blower door or how recently your manometer has been calibrated. There's enough of your, your small enough volume of air leakage there that you shouldn't be concerned in the difference between 0 0.35, 0 0.44, whatever that is. Once you get below 0 0.6, just call it a success and be happy. Uh, so, 0.55 here today, just on the envelope. It's good for us to know that. That means that our framer was correct in all of his assemblies. That means that the new things that we tried here, like taping from the wall to the foundation, worked, and we can rely on that. Now we move on to windows, and we're gonna continue to use my mantra of trust but verify. We know now, and we have that information, and we can apply what we learned here to the next job. So. Take it for what it's worth. I think you might want to think about owning a blower door so you don't have to pay somebody to come and test three times. Two projects, this door paid for itself. So until next time, thanks for watching The Build Show. I'm Jake Bruton. Follow me on Instagram, jake.bruton.